If y'all don't stop commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's gonna be me being you, y'all. Yeah, stop playing with me. Comment on my fault. Go to the video. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell y'all leave. So, y'all, let's get to this video. Royalty is saying <coughs> that she's taking her losses with dignity. I personally don't think Royalty took an L at all, but I don't necessarily know all of the court proceedings. I wasn't there. So we're about to react to what she has to say about her going to court. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, let's get it. I am back with another video. As you guys can see the title of this video, even though I hate clearing up drama, messy stuff, whatever the case may be. Of course, my name is involved in it, so why not speak while everybody else is speaking about it? But as you guys know, the whole thing going on, you guys can see, and I'm just gonna leave it as all the information that is out there now, and I'm gonna tell you guys my outcome and how I feel about the outcome. And I'm, I'm happy, I'm totally happy. I am happy that my kids have a safe place that they can actually go to. Um, okay, so that was my point. Cuz everybody want to argue with me in the comments like she was she wasn't letting him see that uh, y'all, I'm sorry. CJ has been a liar since day 1. I don't believe everything he says. Sorry. Now, do I think royalty is the best uh, you know, does she not tell lies? I ain't saying that, but I'm saying he's told more. So if I had to give a, somebody a little bit of trust, it wouldn't be him. So uh, I feel as though that was her main intention to not have them kids there when it was a, a unsafe space. Um, that was my main priority was a safe place for my kids to be. And I got that. Um, some other stuff is going on still behind closed doors and I'm still not going to speak about it. But in all reality, guys, I never really lost anything. It's yeah. a win for win lose. So basically, I feel like I won some and I lost some. I gained some freedom time for myself and I also lost some time with my kids. So not lost time with your kids. Now this is where I'm going to have to be on CJ side. You do know that you went half on a baby with that. Man. Half on two friend. That's not a loss. God damn. As far as I'm concerned, she got time to do stuff. Don't you want to go outside sometime? You know what I'm saying? Don't you want to not hear mommy, mommy, mommy all day? That's crazy. <laughs> so I just feel like I really did. It was a win for win lose. So I don't feel no type of way. I'm very happy that my kids are able to be in their father's life. And that's something that I, I never tried to keep. I just wanted my kids to be in a safe environment. And like I said, I got that. So there's really nothing to really bicker and batter about so i just wish everybody would just kind of like you know ease off a little bit y'all can't blame me for being a protective mother to my kids i completely agree at the end of the day y'all can't blame me for that and that was my main focus when it comes to my kids their safety is my first priority i don't care what the case may be if it was the other way around best believe my kids will not be in this house if it was the other way around so like I said, yeah, it could have been done and handled a whole lot different, Absolutely. but it wasn't. And at the end of the day, guys, I'm really, I'm glad that this came to what it came to because nobody can't say anything now. Nobody can't say anything now. I completely agree. I want to see if she say something about him not being able to say her name. Either whether you're a supporter, whether you're a fan, whether you're the other side, there should be no more complaints about anything anymore. I mean, what's there to complain about? But like I said, guys, I'm very happy. And yes, today my kids do depart from me today and they'll be back on Sunday. So as you guys can see, it was a temporary order. Everything is just temporary right now as we speak. 
You guys already know when we're going to court. You already know that we got a mediation. You already know. Basically, you already know everything. But just know at the end of the day, guys, I'm satisfied. I'm happy. My kids, they're going to be happy. And, um, yeah. So, and not only that, guys, it's just like I gained room just to, you know, see what it feels like to really miss my twins. Being away from my twins, they're going to be gone for maybe about three and a half days. So this is gonna probably be the longest I probably, three and a half days? Four and a half days, mom, or three and a half? Three and a half. In reality, guys, I'm just, you know, missing a couple of days. I get to, you know, have some free time to myself. Not only that, me and the other kids, we get to also do things that we weren't, we weren't able to do when we had the twins. Like, Yeah, she definitely, um... I wanna be wise with my words because, you know, she's a mother at the end. She, uh, it's given, she definitely, <laughs> I, I don't want to say she didn't want him to have them. I think she got a little bit of separation anxiety, though. Do I say I blame her? No. I mean, honestly, I haven't seen CJ watch them children, like, literally by himself, and granted that he will not be by himself Thank God he has a girlfriend. It is very, very, it's good for him to have a girlfriend. I ain't gonna lie. Shawty not bad at all. She putting him on all types of money moves that he been needing to make. So shout out to her in that area. But she's good with Kamari. You know what I'm saying? Kamari's older. Shout out to her in that area. So you, you know, when you have a, a, a guy that you, a baby daddy, okay? And... He has children and he going to be watching them on, on his own. Sometimes you do want a woman over there. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it'll it be better than worse. Uh, worst case scenarios, you know, unless that woman just not a good woman. But I don't get that from Lexi. I think that she is a, a good person. So that's good. Like, you know, they want to go to the escape room and it's kind of hard to do stuff with the twins. So this just gives us an opportunity to just bring everybody's bond closer. And then I, I just hope at the end of the day, everything works out the way it's supposed to. People can follow the rules. People can do what they're supposed to do. Because at the end of the day, guys, I was the peacemaker the whole time. Now, we don't want to hit that. <laughs> Now that's cat. You know what I'm saying? You absolutely was not the peacemaker the whole time. Now, CJ may be a lot of things, all right, but you wasn't the best, uh huh, to get along with. So don't do that. <laughs> like, all I wanted was safety. All I wanted was peace. Everything's going how I want it to go. So I just wish everybody can just stop with the, you lost. You lost. I lost three days. That's all I lost. So. Like I said, more time to myself, more time to my other kids. I basically got everything I wanted. But Royalty Nation, just be prepared for more videos with me and the kids. We have the weekend to ourselves, so we gonna get we we gonna turn up, we gonna get lit. Just know I had to take care of this small business for right now. Um, we actually have two months to do what we have to actually do. So at the end of the day, Royalty Nation, I hope everything can calm down and all the hate and all the this and all the bickering and all of that can just stop now because it's no point it's pointless but at the end of the day my twins everybody got what they wanted and it was mainly for the twins and i'm very happy of the outcome so yes royalty nation this is just the process of new beginnings new healthy co-parenting what to get to it friend Good God, out of breath. I ain't even did shit. And I'm ecstatic, I'm excited. Um, Got some free time to myself. So yeah, Royalty Nation, there's nothing to complain about. All right, she keep repeating herself. So y'all, I, I gotta say, I feel as though, 1222 in the chat, I feel as though she wasn't trying to solely keep them from him in the beginning i remember she wasn't allowing him to um she wasn't allowing them to go over there she was allowing him to see them however what i keep telling y'all is he kept running his mouth he kept talking about her just clowning on the internet don't nobody want to see that you know what i'm saying don't nobody want to see him you know 
So you would you would think they would have had a mediator, but the mama can't even get with them. You know what I'm saying? So um, the courts was going to have to get involved. I told y'all that a long time ago, and I, I honestly wish he would have done this a long time ago so he wouldn't even have to complain about this. Um, but I am glad that, you know, both of them got what they wanted and the twins get what they want. They need to see their dad. Um, I just pray that, you know, CJ is very responsible with these children. I feel like he ain't never had to take care of kids by himself. Once again, he's not necessarily by himself. So hopefully, you know, she got the balls to deal with some babies, black babies at that. Um, so I don't know. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Um, do y'all think that, you know, this was good for both parties? Um, and how do y'all feel royalty is taking it? Let me know. Uh, y'all ain't got to go home. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got Thanks to. Thanks for listening. But I love y'all so much. Don't slam my door on the way Don't up. slam my damn Get door. Safe. Comment. Have a good night. Have like a good this night. video. Have a good night. Have a good I'll see y'all on the next one. Hell yeah.